Recently, we have reacted to quite a few Eurovision video, all the winner, from Sweden. And then the other day, we reacted to Swedish song that you didn't know were from Swedish composer, writer, etc. And it led us to this video today about the top 100 song on Spotify in the Swedish language. And you remember the other day, we reacted to a video that talk about Swedish invention and Spotify yeah. is from Sweden. Was created in 2006 by Daniel Ek, former CTO of Stardoll and Martin Lorenzen, co-founder of Trade Double. Shout out to Merzata channel for the amazing video. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Oh, Wow! I didn't know that uh, Swedish had. <laughs> I know that they had rap music, but for some reason I didn't envision that it was gonna be on the, on the list that much. Yeah, that's quite a lot, though. It's quite groovy. Yeah, yeah I think it's really smooth, actually. <laughs> This is a song by uh, Hélène Cher Holmes. Ah. It got famous with, with this cover. Wow. I love this song. A lot of songs with like the electronic kind of vibe, right? Yeah. Did I see, we see him in Eurovision, I think. Oh. It was on Eurovision, yeah. Satellite, satellite. Oh, oh, so. Was he? An energy for oh. the story of I love deep tone like this. Remind me of uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny like, Cash? <laughs> you don't think you know? But it remind me of her, uh, Johnny Cash hurt for some reason. <laughs> This rapper has been there a lot too. For the third time I think I don't know why I thought he was gonna be uh, I thought he was gonna be older Oh? I, I, I missed her very young. What does it mean? Not a pretty word, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. I saw him earlier. His voice is so unique. Yo. He has a very like mixed masculine feminine voice. It's quite oh, interesting. True. See? I noticed that the rap music are... The rap music are very soft compared to when I think about like um, American rap. Maybe it mixed with that music too. Because rappers usually sing about their experience, right? Mm. And and in Sweden there's not a high level of violence like in America, so I think you don't need to sing about like a negative thing all the time, I guess. Maybe I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just I don't know what he's saying. Oh, I love this song. 
kan ta min jäkla ja. betala för två Så kör bara på I Fuck my me of My oh my oh my Hey my oh my My Oh my yeah, my yeah. What is that? I, I don't know. I, I love this song. I lost 40 million. Finally some rock music. I feel like I know this song, but maybe because a lot of them have that like uh, electronic disco yeah. dancing vibe, so I, it, it feel a little bit familiar because I know there's a guy that died recently, Avishi. Oh. He was doing a lot of these uh, composition with music. <laughs> I would never have guessed that it was Swedish. If you hear me, I'm also, oh, it's probably some kind of Latin language. Oh. Because of the, the vibe, it's like very romantic, like Spanish-y vibe. I don't know why I think about that. I love it. Why? Where is that? Does this look like Eurovision? Yeah, right? I was thinking that it, it, it looks like... <laughs> It's not, I don't think so, right? Oh. Christmas? Yeah? Him again. Wow. Whoa! Wow! A, a, a classical quartet. It's pretty rare. In the Spotify list. I mean, it's not that rare, but... Famous on the, uh, like Spotify that people yeah, love to listen. Like Billie Eilish style a little bit. Yeah. Like yeah. Because you can walk in the street and listen to that. Oh, one of my favorite. I love. I don't know this song, but her voice is so unique. Oh, I, I love it. She sing like a, an elf, a princess elf. Whoa. The male version of the, the lady just before him. Oh. The softness <laughs> and the uniqueness. They are like made for him together. Just wow. Wow, that music video. Like a Ricky almost. Wow. Our voice is unbelievable. Remind me of like a young Adele. Your voice is beautiful. Wow. What is going on? Whoa. Whoa. 
I think it might be my favorite from all the rappers so far. Oh! I, I mean, there's so many rap shit. Like that really good. Mayhem, that is not a We're getting iron the list for the song you're getting here. But I think they, they, they only have the image, they don't have a music video from what I remember from earlier. Yeah, as a Spotify. Yeah. yeah. No, but there's a the video, there's another music video. It's her from earlier. I love her. Melissa Orn. I love her. What the? Wow. Am I crazy? She's so good. Yeah, the songs are getting better now. Getting better. Do you recognize it? Yeah. Why it seems famous or it's familiar I, with some song? I don't recognize it. <laughs> reggae again! Mm. I didn't know that there was a reggae culture in, in Sweden. It's like the five, five or six songs that we saw that remind me of like Jamaica, Bob Marley. Ooh. Ooh. You know what you notice to all of the rap music? They have amazing beat. Yeah. The, the music, the instrumental with it is always top notch. Oh, oh. I recognize the melody. Oh. This is this is they use that in is it the video game? Where did they use that? I very familiar. I love the video. Oh my god! This is good, I like it. With the video. Oh we saw her earlier too, I said the same thing. Her and the other lady, I don't remember her name, the other lady that I like, but they are top notch and unbelievable. I don't know what the music can do with this So I don't know her, so I assume that she only sings in Swedish, right? Because with the number of songs that she has in the top 100, I would assume that she would be known. But if she was that famous, I would know her. So I don't think she's that known on side of like Sweden. <laughs> Yeah. It's from the same album as earlier, Satin Gatin. 
Who's the best? He has a classic rock folk style. I love this guy. What does it mean? Sifra Fran 11 Dagarinan Latin Togner. Can you see don't have text below the the number? Wow! This one has an interesting melody. For some reason, I expected it to go very traditional, but it turned out to be like very uh, interesting change of pace. Wow, Dan Svenska. Does it mean Sweden? Dan Svenska Bjorn Stamen. And the song is Vart Jack Mig in Varsden Wunder. Wow. You notice it's more pop now? Mm. It's more like what you would expect from the usual list, you know? Pass on turn. Maybe it's for it's like a children's show. I don't know. It doesn't yeah, seem 100. like it. it's a Swedish fictional character used as children language tools created by illustrator. Oh see, you want to learn Swedish, a kid wants to learn Swedish, they listen to that. So it makes sense, right? Because these kids' channel on YouTube are so big that I'm guessing I'll pop my No, it's interesting because the top 10 was not that good. I think that like the position like 15 to 35 was the best for me, like 15 to 40. I feel like the top 10, I don't know why, maybe it's the, the really, really popular song for the, the younger generation. I feel like, I don't know what you think. To be honest, I kind of feel like the top 10 is not really draw my attention that no, much. No, yeah, same. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I even love like from the 100 yeah, to right? like maybe top 30 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 